वेलकम बैक लेट्स नाउ स्टार्ट विथ अ सिंपल एक्सरसाइज वी क्रिएटेड द मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेबल मेथड इन द पाइथन शेल वॉट विल डू नव इज वील क्रिएट द सेम थिंग बट इन अ पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ इट्स ओन यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो इन हियर एंड ट्राई एंड डू इट एज एन एक्सरसाइज ओके आई होप यू हैड अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस डूइंग दैट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गो हेड एंड डू दैट दिस इज हाउ यू डू दिस right click new python file what we want to do is multiplication table so i'll call create a new file called multiplication underscore table and say okay and over here we can define our method so define print multiplication table so which table start and end and colon if you remember we used the for loop one of the things you can already see is as soon as i type in for f pycharm is showing for in here this is called suggestions auto suggestions so as you start typing code pycharm would suggest you what you can do so i'll say for and over here i would say for i in range of start to end what do we want to do actually n plus 1 because end is exclusive put a colon in here and press enter one of the things you can already see is pycharm is indenting automatically we did not really have to type in spaces pycharm is automatically providing the four spaces at the start and i can directly type in the code which would be executed as part of the for loop what do you want to do we want to do print we want to use a formatted string and within the formatted string i can type in table into i is equal to table into i so this would be replaced replaced with whichever table we are passing in i would be the index which is used in here this is the variable here and table into i is calculated and the value would be replaced in here we have defined the method now what i would want to be able to do is execute it if i want to execute a method if you press enter the indentation would show you something here so what i would want to do is not inside the for loop so i would want to actually execute it so i'll leave a blank line i'll press enter again and press delete two times so that i can move the indentation back to the start of the line once we move back to the start of the line we can write code to execute it as soon as i type in print you can see that there is an auto suggestion coming up print multiplication table and we can actually you can see that even parameters are being shown so it's saying end is unfilled start is unfilled table is unfilled so let's say we want to print five table from 1 to 10 and let's do a right click run multiplication table you can see that there is an output which is being shown in the console one of the most important things for you to understand is the indentation indentation is very important if you write any code with the same indentation as the print over here then it would be considered to be part of the for loop for example if i say print 5 what would happen this would be considered to be part of the for loop and after each one of these things you would see a 5 being printed or if i have print 5 indent indented at the level of the def then this print 5 is considered to be part of the method so it's considered to be part of the print multiplication table so first it would execute this for loop and after that it would execute print 5 so if i save this and if you if i run this you'd see that print 5 would now cons be considered part of the print multiplication table so whenever i call the print multiplication table the five table is printed and after that a number 5 is printed in this step we did a simple exercise to define the method for print multiplication table and execute it using the call i will leave it as an exercise for you to try the default values 
and make multiple calls to this specific method. I'll see you in the next step.